Good evening, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Aleli. Hola, ¿cómo están? Hola, Ceci. Y el Santi. Va good sufriendo, evening, ¿verdad? Evening. Está sufriendo con el mundial, ¿verdad? Desvelado, ando. Chale, bicho. ¿Y cuánto tiempo dura eso? Un mes, hasta el 20 de diciembre. Qué terrible. Un mes clavado al televisor. A las 4 de la mañana fue el partido de ahora. Por sí. Dios que te dicen, vamos a ir a misa. Ni cuidís que te levantás, ¿verdad? Hay prioridades. Se me imagina. Ojalá que cuando llegues allá al cielo, a ver qué te dice el Señor. No, pero si es una alborada, sí hay que ir. <risa> sí, claro. Bueno, y Miguel Ángel, ¿de dónde es esa imagen? Eh, aquí, el Golfo de Fonseca, en la Unión. Sí, oh. sí yo trabajo para Carbo Conservas. Qué chido, está, está bien bonita la imagen. Sí. Y las islas son bien bonitas del Golfo. Ya tuve la oportunidad de, de hacer tres. Uh -huh. ¿Y están habitadas? Hi, César. Buen sí, están bien, César. Sí, están habitadas. Mm, interesante. Se imagina que ha de ser bueno para la pesca por ahí, ¿verdad? Conocí a alguien que decía de que los camarones eran increíbles. Le confirmo que sí. Oh, invite, invite. Hi, teacher. Aquí, consiguiendo camarones de la unión. That's good, that's good. Oh, always en la rebusca, right? Always en la rebusca, that's good. Yeah, that's Salvadorian people, right? Siempre llevan para la casa. Y that's Willy good. Salgado. Le 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 choto. Ya le dije al teacher que tenemos problemas con la plataforma. Sí, ya... pero el teacher no va a ignorar. No, fíjese que ya reportamos. Y nos va a mandar, eso. escuche bien. Yo, por Dios, tengo audio malo, digo yo, pero... No, teacher, yo creo que se equivocaron en la plataforma. Definitivamente... Hay dos, hay dos ejercicios que... A mí que al menos no me da por donde sea. Fíjese que ya reportamos esos inconvenientes. La vez pasada que me comentó los inconvenientes, pues ya los, ya los reportamos para ver cómo los solucionan. Esperamos que, pues, que, que lo hagan, right? That's, that's the thing. Um, Porque entonces, hay no. una, una pregunta en el meter que es la 3. Punto, ¿Cuánto, César? 3.6. No, no, la 3.6 ya está lo que es el audio, uh -huh. ¿no? Do, Karen. Uh -huh. Está en el meter de Es la, el es la, Sam, ya. Es la B, 3B, 3B en uh -huh. el meter. Ajá. Entonces, en la, en la pregunta 3, ya he. Yo ya desglosé esa pregunta para armarla por todos lados y no le hallo. Es, uh, no, don't no sit there. Well, you mean don't sit there. There? O sea, en pregunta y nada. Y el teacher se burla porque, ¿verdad? <ríe> no, <está> siendo... <ríe> no, I'm sorry. I apologize on that thing. It's like, um... sí, esperamos que, que, lo, que lo resuelvan. O sea que hay un problema, o sea que no somos nosotros los malos. No, yo solo les informo a ellos y ellos lo revisan y luego después ellos nos informan si está bien. Por ejemplo, el midterm me está diciendo, ¿verdad? Right? Yes, el midterm. Si lo, en si el chequeamos. 3B. Then give me a minute so we can have this thing really quick. Ok. So aquí estoy, ¿qué sería? ¿Cuál sería? El B, 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 B. Ahí. Uh, this one. Yes. Rewrite. En la 3. Usted ya lo tiene resuelto. Oh my God, es que ya lo hice. Okay. Por el eso, o sea, échenos la mano con la tercera, porque yo ya lo hice todo. Okay. What do you mean? Number 3, this one. Yes, esa, esa, sí, okay. esa. Would you mind not? Um, sí, no, 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 Would you mind ah, not es que, no, sí, de, el, el don, el do. Entonces, eh, el, no es contractada, teacher. No, exactly, no es exactly. Mm -hmm. It's not contraction, it's, it's like full form. That's why. Ok, ok. Mm -hmm. ah, bueno, dale, dale. yo ya la había hecho sin contracción, pero... Esto lo trabajé el fin de semana y hoy no tuve problema. 
No, Aleli, pero fíjate don, cómo lo ha puesto el teacher. Es que no ha uh, puesto el tú. Mind. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh, All of you, mind. mind. Y el verbo. Uh, mind. No, el, el do se perdió. El do, el do le ha quitado. ¿Cómo que nos iba a dar? Sí, Exacto, sí. ¿por qué? Porque como <risa> se empezó <risa> el do por sorry, el you, sorry. ¿me entendés? No. Porque está trabajando con el auxiliar. No, no Bechele. No, ah, Bechele. ¿Cómo nos iba a dar ese volado? Sorry, claro. I'm sorry. Ok. This... Bueno, la otra es la de 5.14. At least, at least, at least we, we, could, like, we, could, we could like fix that thing, right? Yeah, fix I it. am finished the platform. Oh, that's wonderful. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. that's amazing, right? Um, yeah, pretty much you're really a nice group. I mean, all of you, I really appreciate all your effort. I know it's hard for you because you work a lot. And in, in, in addition, you are having this course. And that's very impressive. That's very impressive because you're like 100% on top of everything, which is pretty much amazing, okay? So yeah, I was checking like some of you like already finished like all the things that we have in this course, uh, which is incredible. Okay, because um, I usually do the things like, you know what I mean, like, like following the sign. Let's say like they give me like some step, or I could do it like like that. But but you are really pretty much impressed, impressing on this one. Very good. Okay, um, I don't know if you have another question. Uh, about the uh, the exercises, people. Yeah, también había uno del audio, right? I think it's like about carnival. No, ese ya lo solucioné, teacher. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Del 5.4 hay una, teacher. <laughs> 5.4. <laughs> ya es para terminar. <laughs> <laughs> hay una que igual que esta le hemos dado vueltas. Igual a Leli, se le hemos dado. Ay, no. What is that one? Is this one? Sí. D. Or e. ¿Cuál es el 5.4? I don't know what is that. Ya es el, para terminar el examen. Para terminar. El examen. Ya va a terminar la plataforma. Sí. No. Copien, bicho, copien. Uh, All your horses. <laughs> no, exactly. We're going to stop it here. We're going to stop it here. Okay, try, try to solve it. Cesar, if, if you need help in the future, me manda mensaje so I can help you with that. Okay? Because uh, <laughs> the idea is to try to do it easy. Como dijo Aleli, right? La idea es que usted intente todas las opciones y luego, like, if you stop with something like Maybe that's no, si ya le digo que ya, ya intenté de todas formas y no sale. <risa> Igual que esta que eh, va a salir usted con que una letra le quitó y ya, ya estuvo resuelto todo. But this is, it's a little thing. It's a little thing that, that changed everything, right? It's, it's something little that changed everything. Uh, like an atom that, that changed everything. Emerson. Hello, Emerson. How are you? So far, so good. Oh, okay. Are you watching the games on this like World Cup? Um, Excuse me? Are you watching the games like we have like um, on this World Cup? I don't understand. Like we have. Que si ha visto los si juegos de la Euro. Euro. Ah. <laughs> no, pero yeah. como son un TikToker, no estás ubicado, hijo. ¿Los juegos de qué dice? Del mundial, like, we have Dios this World Cup. De fútbol. Del hambre. You haven't, you haven't watched it. La regó Argentina, Batista. I mean, yeah, that's absolutely true. Yeah, I mean. Pero ganó El Salvador en fútbol playa, ¿qué pasa? Hay alegría. Ah, bueno, bueno, por bueno. ello sí me pongo al azul, mira, por los de oh, fútbol playa, bien. sí, los otros no valen la pena. <laughs> ok, I will see the attendance. Hay que darle la oportunidad. I will say the attendance really quick. Let me see, from 9 to 10. Aleli, welcome, it's nice to have Present. you. Everything is in green here. Ok, so Aleli, thank you so much. On Tuesday, 22nd, Ana Cecilia Rodríguez de Pérez. Present teacher. Ana Cecilia Romero de Rodríguez. De Domínguez. Present teacher. 
Oh, exactly. I apologize. I missed that. <laughs> the Dominguez. Okay, I'm sorry. Ya la divorcé. Ya me casó con otro. <laughs> ya la divorcé y la casé con otro. Si apologize. tiene piso, está bueno, Ceci. <laughs> si no, no. <laughs> qué carácter, qué carácter. I do not. I do not. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. What was that? Calm down, calm down, right? Ana Mendoza. Ana Mendoza. Good evening, teacher. I'm here. Welcome. Bridget. Hello, Bridget. Hello, teacher. I'm here. Oh, I have a question for you, Bridget. Are you good at cooking? Hmm. <laughs> ¿Qué, ¿Qué me gusta cocinar? No. Are you good, digamos? Ah, ah, soap of beans, um, mush cream, and cheese, oh. and tortillas. Okay. Fritas. <laughs> What is your favorite dish? Like the one that you cook a lot. You say it's like, oh, this is this dish looks like tastes good. Whenever I cook this dish, it's delicious. Hmm. <laughs> In general, um, um uh, toda. Toda la comida me gusta. Okay, toda. all your food is delicious. All your food is delicious. Sí. That's very good. Espérame. Esta cosa no me... Okay. Thank you, Bridget. That's the nice of you. A Carmen Guadalupe. Escamilla. Hello, Carmen. You here? No? Okay, let's move on with Cesar. Hello, Cesar. Edith. Guzman. Present teacher. Thank you so Present much. Present teacher. Thank you, Edith. Um, Eduardo Najarro. Welcome, Eduardo. Are you here? Yes or no? Okay, he's absent. What about Elvis? Elvis. Present teacher. Thank you and welcome, Elvis. Emerson. Here. Um, thank you so much. Stephanie Aparicio. Hello, Stephanie. Are you here? No? Okay, what about you? I think that's Stephanie. Okay, I'm sorry, Stephanie. Your audio doesn't work. Fatima Asensio. Present teacher. Thank you, Fatima. Welcome. Jaime Aldana. Hi, teacher. I'm here. Hey, IRB. IRB. Sorry, Jose. Present teacher. Um, hey, Karen. Oh, Karen. Karen. Present. Thank you so much. Um, Laura Arce. Hello, Laura. Are you here? She's absent. Um, Marvin. Present teacher. Welcome, Marvin. Miguel Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Uh, Morena Guadalupe Fuentes. Good evening, teacher. Good evening and welcome. Um, Oscar. Hello, Oscar. Are you here? No? Okay. Present teacher. Oh, thank you so much, Oscar. Uh, Raquel Santos. Hello, Raquel. No? Okay. What about Santiago Chavez? I'm here, teacher. Perfect. Um, um, Vilma. Hello, Vilma. Are you here? No? Okay, let me show you really quick what are we going to talk on this thing. As you may know, we're working with um, this section. This is section number three, in which we are talking about celebrations, something that you pretty much love a lot, right? Everybody loves celebrating things. And um, in this class, which is um, section number three, we are going to talk about, um, let's celebrate one more time, right? This is class number six. Uh, number six, and we are going to um, have practice on the content that you have available in this section. We are going to have this. You have a conversation, let me say. Tienen problemas con los, con los videos que salen ahí en, en la plataforma o se los reproduce bien? Teacher, disculpe, fíjese que precisamente el tema de los diálogos, por ejemplo, no uh -huh. se leen y no es legible, por más que uno le amplíe o trate de tomar captura de pantalla, 
eh, no, no se entiende. Tal vez uno le lleva el hilo por pura inercia, pero en sí no es legible. Exacto. Thank you so much. Sí, también reporté lo de los videos porque los estuve viendo. Y este, um, espérame, déjenme ver esta cosa. Y pues a veces lo reproduce como tres días después. ¿verdad? Es como que va bien, como que va bien despacio. No sé si ya los han visto. O sea, yo pongo el, en la plataforma, pongo el audio, digamos el video, hay una conversación, pero en la plataforma me lo tira bien lento. Entonces, uh, no sé si han notado eso o solo me pasa a, a mí. Para right. mí está bien, teacher. A mí me, el único problema que tenía era con lo del carnaval de Río de Janeiro, pero de ahí todo estaba bien. Everything is good. Incluso oh. en, esta, en este módulo los videos son más cortos y eso me encanta. Oh, yeah, everybody loves that, right? <laughs> Pero lo que dijo la compañera sí tiene razón. Fíjese que comienza bien el video, eh, las letras se ven bien y de repente se pone así como todas borrosas, ticha. No lo dicen, ticha. No audio, teacher. Sorry, I forgot to turn it on. Yeah, so I already report those issues as well, um, which is pretty much uh, not good, you know what I mean? So you can you can have everything like working really good. Uh, we're gonna have a short conversation today. We're gonna practice on this one, and then we will carry on with uh, relative classes, which is the topic from this, um, uh, let's say, oh, come on, give me a break. Give me a minute. Sorry. Give me a minute. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. No. Need to do it. Okay, here we go. Okay, if you don't see the presentation, let me know of any time. Here we have the conversation. Okay, um, solo que esta cosa no me deja. I'm going to play the audio three times. And you can listen and then random questions about the reading, about the, the conversation, sorry, and then participation. Let's listen and watch. Page 53, exercise eight, conversation. Wedding day, part A. Listen and practice. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures are from right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the meal, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes, and the guests give money to the bride and groom. Bridget? Sorry. Bridget, do you have a... Fíjese que, este, fíjese que a, a mí se me miran como pixeleadas las letras, no las distingo bien. Borrosas, teacher. Se ven borrosas. Sí. 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 Por un momento se ve bien, pero ya después se, se pixelean todas. Ok. Vamos a ver. What about now? Ahorita, everything is perfect. Ahorita yeah. está bien. Sí, ahorita sí, teacher. Okay. Y si manda una foto al WhatsApp. <laughs> no, no, o sea, everybody play the audio. Let me check. Uh, vamos a ver. Ya me amas. Ahorita voy a ver si la, la tomo. Con el alcatel, I'm sorry, ok. Con el alcatel. Ok. Saqué el iPhone. 
para Navidad pido un iPhone, teacher, o un Xiaomi, pues. Oh, un Xiaomi. Uh, actually, I have one. I have one Xiaomi. Okay. No, what happened is those, like, iPhones are very expensive. Like, that's a lot of money for me. I don't have that, unfortunately. I wish I could, but I don't have it. You know what I mean? No sé si solo soy yo, pero la foto que mandó se ve pixelada también. <laughs> no, I didn't do it. Somebody else did it. Okay. Sí. Fíjese que sí. I don't know why. La cosa está hackeado. Déjeme ver. Asencia, claro. A mí me han hecho ojo. ¿Qué pasó? Ok, give me a minute. Vamos a ver. En ti está mejor. Tan grande, ya le hicieron ojo. Exacto. Es un muñeco de vudú. Miren el hacker que ¿Cómo mandado, dice? En vez de que diga brujería. What about, what about this one? No sé si se ve mejor. Ok, there is another one. Yeah, that's better, right? I guess. Yes. Yeah. Yes, better. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, Let me see. Okay, I will play the audio so the you audio. can. Yeah, exactly. Page 53, exercise 8. Conversation. Wedding day. Part A. Listen and practice. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures are from right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the meal, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes, and the guests give money to the bride and groom. That's beautiful, right? That sounds pretty amazing. Let me get Miguel. Thank you, Miguel. What is this conversation about, Miguel? Uh, Miguel, what is this conversation about? Miguel? Do you, do you understand the question, Miguel? Hey, teacher, eh, no logro comprender la pregunta. Oh, okay, okay. Le voy a dar dos opciones, o tres opciones, okay. okay. Um, is, is this conversation about a birthday party, a carnival, or is this conversation about a wedding? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Miguel? What is this conversation about? Is, it is this about a wedding? It is this about a carnival? Or is this conversation about a birthday party? Elija una de las tres opciones. Like, give me one. It is this conversation about like a wedding or a carnival or a birthday party, Miguel? A wedding, teacher. Exactly. It is about a wedding, right? If you notice here, here we have a wedding. Very good. So we have a wedding. This conversation is about a wedding. Very good. Janita Mendoza, can you tell me more details about this conversation, please? Uh, read, teacher. No, give me more details about this conversation. What else do we have in uh, this conversation? Uh, two girls are, are watching some pictures about the wedding. And they are talking about uh, where to celebrate the wedding and who they invited uh, at the event. Where was this, let's say, celebration? Where was this celebration? Uh, 
at the shrine. At, at the shrine. shrine, very good. But okay. I don't know how to... Shrine. What's the shrine. meaning? Oh, can you look at the pictures? Look at the pictures. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Do you see the place that is behind like the church, maybe? Exactly. It's like this is the place. This is the place, it's like the building. And that's the way we call them, the shrine. Okay. Who got Mary? Jill or Emiko? Who got married? Emiko. Emiko, very good. Are you married? Yes, you, Janita. Are you married? Um, I got divorced. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear about it. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. That was, I was sorry. I wasn't expecting that. I'm sorry, but uh, I'm sorry. No I problem, Tisha. No problem. Okay. Um, okay, we're gonna have participation like by reading. Janita and Morena. Okay, you're going to be Jill, Janita, and Morena. That's you. Uh, with Emiko. Okay, ready? Okay. Teacher. Let's begin. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures are framed right after the ceremony. What was the ceremony? At the spring, when people get married in Japan, they sometimes have this ceremony at the spring. That's interesting. Where are a lot of people there? Well, Usually, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But after a while, we had a reception with family and friends. So what a reception like in Japan? There is a big dinner. And after the meal, the guests give a speech or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the, let me see. Thank you. Marvin. So the, yes, and the guests give money to the bride and groom. And groom. Very good. Marvin, question for you. Marvin, hello. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, this celebration that these people have in Japan, um, it is quite similar to the one that we have here in El Salvador? Yes or no? Oh, okay, tell me, tell me why it's different. Tell me, tell me why it's different. This celebration, right, in the in the in Japan, is different from the one that we have here in the yeah, South. I think, I think so. It's, it's... Oh, ceremony. Ceremony. It's a party. Party with my fam, with my friend and family. Se reúnen a celebrar la boda y en Japón. In English. The ceremony. The ceremony. Japan is, is more ceremony. Okay, uh, um, Marvin, um, do you think like, do like, do the couple get presents like when they when they get married here in El Salvador? Do they get presents? Sorry, teacher, I don't understand. Uh, Jaime, uh, helping please. Thank you so much. Helping with this one. Okay, uh, we're talking about if here in El Salvador, the like ce celebrations like wedding celebrations are similar to the ones that these people have in Japan. What do you think about this? Uh, yes, I, I think uh, the, the wedding here in El Salvador and in Japan are, are similar. 
uh, because uh, we we give presents to mm -hmm, today to them uh, one one thing that i i that i think is a difference uh, they they sing songs in wedding but in el salvador in el salvador we don't sing uh, <laughs> or or I'll, at least where i where i i got or el verbo de vivir that your is back is very good <laughs> i i didn't i didn't sing <laughs> oh are, are you married Jaime? no no teacher i'm single <laughs> Oh, okay. Ladies, calm down, ladies, calm down. Okay, relax. It's just your classmate. Calm down. <laughs> relax. <Okay>. Take it easy. <laughs> yeah, he's a very good class. Calm down, okay? Please. Please. El momento yes. ha llegado, Jaime. <laughs> <laughs> That's my moment. And then, then I, I think we are similar with with them uh, by, by present, uh, take photos, but mm -hmm. we are we have difference in singing songs i think exactly exactly thank you so much cecilia okay very good Jaime. cecilia yes teacher uh similar uh, usually only family members oh, and close true. friends go to the ceremony exactly so, yes that is correct uh then and do, do you get money let's say if you get married do, do this couple get like money or, or just some yes, yes, similar. Exactly, right? Like it's in sobre, right? Now, now yes, yes, right? sobre, sobre, present sobre. Es para pagar la cena, hijo. No, that's true. I don't know. It's like at the end, it's not like just just to be there, you know, to, to share a, a special moment with them. Okay, we're going to have boys with the next ones. Then we have Santiago and um oscar santiago you are jill and oscar you are emiko ready let's begin okay okay your wedding picture are really beautiful emiko thank you those pictures are from right after the ceremony where was the ceremony at a shrine when people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a sh shrine. That's interesting. Where there are a lot of people there. Okay. Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception where we family and friends. So what a reception like Japan? There's a big dinner and after the meal, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It's on live fun. It really, it really is. And then before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them present. The guests get present? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride to the bride and groom. Okay. Perfect. Let me take some pronunciation. Very good. Okay, we have a few things like um yeah, shrine. Uh everything is perfect, wonderful. Okay, um, let's take a look at the next material that I have available for you today. I don't know if you have a question in here before we move on to the next one. Everything is clear in this conversation? Yes, okay, let's move on to the next. Page 53. Let me see if I can play this video. Oh, here we go. If you don't see it very well, let me know, okay? Hi, I have a question for you. 
What is an adverbial clause of time? I'll give you a hint. An adverbial clause of time can't occur alone as it needs a main idea. Stay around and listen to the explanation and follow the examples for better understanding. Adverbial clauses of time. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. After the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. We're going to break this for you so you may understand it better. There are many types of adverbial clauses, but in this session we want you to learn about adverbial clause of time. Let's define what an adverbial clause is. An adverbial clause of time describes or defines the when something happens. Adverbial clauses of time are easy to identify because they begin with a subordinating conjunction. For example, when, after, before, since, until, while, whenever. We invite you to ask your teacher to give you a list of subordinating conjunctions as a reference. You may be wondering what does a subordinating conjunction do? A subordinating conjunction joins two sentences, one sentence being called dependent or subordinated and another sentence being independent or main clause. As said in the intro video, an adverbial clause of time can't occur on its own because it makes no sense. It is not complete. We will take a look at some examples. Once you see them, you will know what we're talking about here. When she comes home, she will read a bedtime story. Let's analyze this sentence. When is a subordinating conjunction or adverb. She is the subject. Comes the verb. Now, when she comes home, altogether is a subordinating or dependent clause, meaning it is not complete. It depends on some other idea. You expect more information. She will read a bedtime story is a main clause or independent clause meaning it makes perfect sense alone. What we're doing now is making a more complex sentence. Let's work with another example. Before she went to school, she finished all her homework. I will give you a couple of minutes to break down this sentence. Try to do as we did on our previous example. So let's do it together. Before, subordinating conjunction or adverb. She, the subject, went, the verb. Before she went to school is a subordinated or dependent clause. And she finished all her homework is a main or independent clause. Excellent, well done. Before we go, it is important for you to know that an adverbial clause of time can appear either at the beginning of the entire sentence or in the middle of it. It is okay to say, since they got married, they have traveled around the world or they have traveled around the world since they got married. The only difference is the use of a comma if the subordinating conjunction begins the sentence. Can you give us now two examples? Do so in our discussion box. It's a subordinating or dependent clause. Okay, so the, the big thing with this um, relative clauses of time is this one. Okay, so you have two ideas right and you need to put them together you need to make that the, like the two ideas make sense when you put them together so that's that's the main thing of this one that one sentence goes related to the other one just to have a complete idea about it that is the main objective of relative classes okay and we call them classes because we have like two sentences two ideas um, that goes together and that complement each other that is the big deal with clauses, okay? We have different clauses. You will see those when you get in a, a different module. You will have another, like, other examples of clauses. This is one of them, right? This is one of the basics that we use a lot. Um, and we put them, like, like with these coordinated um, conjunctions, right? We have different conjunctions in English. We're gonna use this ones here. Oh, where are they? Uh, at very close of time, describe it with or defines when something happens. Pretty much. Why? Because we're using when. And then we have these conjunctions. These conjunctions here. Subordinated conjunctions. When we have these conjunctions, cannot indicate time. 
Ok, como estas conjunctions nos indican time, that's why we're talking about a relative clause of time. So whenever you use like uh, these two sentences and goes together about something, basically you are talking about a clause. Ok, a relative clause of time. Let me show you more examples about Since. Uh, a better idea. This is the other example. In the previous class, last week, let me show you here, the most relative clauses of time, but this one, you have it in the middle. Here you have it in the middle, when, when, right? So here you have this phrase here, which is a sentence, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving is a day, right? But then you have it in the middle. So um, today, if you notice, we have like different ways that we can have it like the um, word order goes at the beginning as well. So if you want to talk about something at the beginning, like when people get married in Japan, they do this and that, we can use also this one to coordinate a conjunction, which is about the time after the food is served, right? Before the guests live. So you can use this at the beginning and then you put the two sentences like just to make sense, just to don't forget in this one, we have the apostrophe in, in the middle, okay? So it's not something like really difficult. The main thing is like you use a subordinated conjunction so you can like put the two like sentences together and like those sentences make sense and at the end fits each one of them with one idea, okay? So if you notice the first sentence, people get married in Japan, and then we are adding more details about the first one so we can have more information about the first one. And that is the way we do it. So it's not something really difficult, and I think you have the, the, like the ability to do it. Again, here we have this exercise, okay? Uh, I'll, Ale Lee, can you help me reading this grammar part, please? Thank you. Um, grammar not? Yes, please, thank you. Grammar not, adverbial clause of time. The adverbial clause can come before or after the main clause. Before the main clause, al and comma, when a couple gets married, then often receive the gift. Do not add and come after the many clothes. A couple often receive gifts when they get married. Thank you so much. Before the main clothes and after the main clothes. ¿A qué se refiere esto? De las dos oraciones que tenemos aquí, siempre va a haber una que va a ir completa, va a ir full. I mean, Esa puede leerse así sola, right? Por ejemplo, aquí tenemos before the main close, right? Entonces, ¿cuál es el main close? Okay, este es el main close. They often receive gifts, right? Entonces, I can say that sentence, and according to the context, that makes sense, right? It could make sense, right? Entonces, ah, aquí, what I'm doing is, agrego something else about this one, and to do that, to do that, I need to use a subordinated conjunction in case when. Um, Adelie, thank you. Teacher, no es complement, it's other sentences. Um, it's, it's not, it's like, it sounds like another sentence okay. which is related to the first one, to the, to the main sentence. It's you know continu I mean? continuation. It's something like that. It's like you are adding more details about something, right? For example, okay. they often receive gifts. And if you okay. want to be like more specific, you can add, oh, when they get married. You know what I mean? At this, um, these sentences is the relation, the first sentences. Exactly. So it goes related. So at the end, you have like more details or you put them together just to have a one complete idea about oh, something they are okay. doing communicating. Exactly. It sounds worth launch. Excuse me? It's a long answer. 
I mean, it's not like a long answer. It's like you giving more details about something. You know what I mean? It's okay. Thank you. Because it's like, for example, cuando les toca hacer un paragraph, for example, no sé si ya lo vieron. Cuando we do paragraph, damos more details about something. You know what I mean? So you have the main topic and then you have different examples. For example, like you have, oh, um, schools uh, in the Salvador are um, like, let's say, safe places. And then we have an idea, a supporting idea about the main topic. And then after that, we give more details about it. So with clauses, lo que puede hacer usted, para que le sirven las clauses, is para agregar more details about it. You know what I mean? You have one specific thing, and you can add all you want to that specific thing. Okay? How do you do that? Well, with, two, with conjunctions. Give me a minute, please. Sorry. Okay, let's have some, some, Jaime, thank you. Excuse me, uh, uh, is, there a, is there a difference of pronunciation when we, when we put the comma and, we, and when we do not add comma? Um, no, it's pretty much the same. The only thing is like the passes you do, right? It's like the passes. When you have a comma, you make a pass. And when you don't have it, you just go with the rhythm of the of the sentence, of the message. Is, At the is, end, is it like like a Spanish when we, exactly. for example, for example, when a when a couple gets married, they often receive gifts. Exactly. In the other case, we we can say a couple often receive gifts when they get married. We exactly. we don't. Exactly, it goes like directly, right? You, you don't make passes. Mm -hmm. the, the the difference will will be the the space in the with with the comma. Exactly, with, exactly. Okay. And also the difference also is like here we're using like the cord, the the um conjunction here at the beginning and here we're using it at, in the middle. Okay. Okay. That's, Understand. That's, Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, we're going to have some practice in here, like this one's right. What are you going to do? It's like complete the paragraph um, with the information in the box, add a comma where uh, necessary. So if, if we need a comma, we can, we can have it. And if not, like we can leave it like that. Let's begin with Jose. Let's begin with you, Jose, please. Can you repeat the instruction, please, teacher? Oh, sure, sure. It's on the top. It says complete the paragraph with the information in the box, which is this one. Okay. Um, and add a comma where necessary. So uh, if you think that there is a comma needed, you add it. If not, you, you leave it like that. Okay. <laughs> so you are going to use this. Uh, classes that we have here in this box, and you are going to add them here according to the context. You got it? I try to match the sentences. Oh, okay, okay, take your time, take your time. Let me see. Hey, I think the first one is uh, newly. Newly married couples often live on their honeymoon when they have enough money to pay for it. Okay, so this one is this one, right? I think. Okay, okay. don't worry, we will check that. Thank you so much, very good. Uh, Raquel Santos, continue please, thank you. Okay. When, when they go on their honeymoon, um, most couples like to be alone. <clears throat> oh, that makes sense, right? That makes sense. Sure. 
Yes. Uh, I have a different opinion because oh, oh, I think uh, new married couples often live or on their home honeymoon before the wedding reception ends. Oh, oh, so that's going to be, uh, this one is going to be number okay. three. Will be here, mm -hmm. right? Hmm. Yes. Me too, Wonderful. teacher. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Me too, teacher. Thank you so much. Great job. Uh, Karen, thank you, Karen. Quería mm -hmm. uh, after, ¿verdad? Yes. After, after they come back from their honeymoon, uh, many uh, new new languages have to live with relative. Okay, so it's gonna be done before. It should be this one, right? It goes here. Okay, and what is the last one? Uh, Oh, it's... they they can only live in their one place when they have enough money to pay for it. Enough money, very good. Enough money. Many new wills have to live with relatives. Very good. Okay, yeah, that is correct. Just this one. I'm um, sorry, but the best is very good. Perfect. Okay. Questions? Oh, I need to take the attendance. Let me see what time is it. Yes, I'm sorry. I need to take the attendance. Let me see if I have another exercise here so we can, so you can do it. No, sorry. That's all. That's for the next class. I'm sorry. Let me take the attendance really quick. Oh, okay. When you hear your beautiful name, say present. Uh, Aleli? I am here. Thank you so much. Um, Ana Rodriguez de Perez. Present teacher. Ana Cecilia Romero. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Ana Janira Mendoza. I'm here, um, teacher. Bridget. Um, I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much, Carmen Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Carmen. Welcome. Nice to have you one more time. Um, Cesar. Uh, here, Edith. Um, Edith. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Edith. Eduardo. Hello, Eduardo. Are you here? Miss Eduardo. No. Okay. Um, Elvis. Present teacher. Emerson, thank you. Present. Stephanie. I think Stephanie sent me a message. Present teacher. Thank you, Stephanie. Uh, Fatima Asensio. Um, Jaime Roberto Valdana. Present. Um, Jose. Um, Present teacher. Thank you, Karen. Laura. I think Laura. Check the chat because sometimes I get Stephanie here. Thank you. Um, sometimes I get messages and I don't check that. Uh, Laura? No? Okay. Um, Marvin? Miguel? Present teacher. Thank Present you. Um, Morena? Fuentes? Present teacher. Um, Oscar? Present teacher. Raquel? Ana Raquel? I'm present. Thank you, Ana. And your classmate, uh, Santiago, is here? En Vilma, Cartagena. No, Vilma. Okay. Thank you so much. I'll give him a minute. Sorry. My name is Raquel Arely Santos. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I'm I, I'm getting yeah, sick. <laughs> I think I'm getting sick. I don't know why, um, but um, I, I, I'm, I think I'm getting sick. Give me a minute, because I need to check something here really quick. No, 
audio. Santiago, el comercial. Thank you so much. Sorry for that. Okay. What is that thing? No, 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 no. Okay. Nada de mundial, niños. <laughs> It's gone. Okay. I, I just know. have a question. I just have a question. Um, how many of you are, are like missing some exercises from the website? It's like, um, is everybody like working in the website or like how, how are you doing it? Oh, because for this week we have section number three and we have the mean term. We have a mean term uh, on this uh, this week. So I just I'm just wondering, like, if you check this exercise, you have some some exercises, uh, like as Lily was mentioning before, you have some exercise here in this website that you must do it. You know what I mean? So I don't know if like all of you are working on these ones. Uh, or like if somebody does like stone dows or if somebody does like um if somebody needs like some help you know what i mean on this one i don't know uh we have like let me see in section number three you have this bunch of material like from the beginning like this one you got a video then you have another information then a video Then you have some exercises like this one, right? Uh, so I'm just asking if like you did it, all of you, are you working on this exercise? This is like the audio, right, Adelie? You were saying, right? Uh, which is this one. Um, and you have, again, you have the material here. So so you can work at home. You have the same, the, the videos that I show you have the, a slight pronunciation like a stress and rhythm in some vocabulary. And again, I need you to work at home with these exercises and you do these ones. So when you get to the midterm, it's like, it's not difficult for you to do it. You know what I mean? You have this reading so you can like do it. Obviously, sometimes I check this one so you can like participate so I can hear the way you're pronouncing the things. Most of you, like have really good pronunciation. Every time I ask you something, you do it pretty much excellent. A few details on pronunciation, which is wonderful, okay? But again, don't forget to work in this website so you have everything done by the end of the week, right? And then you have, oh, let me see slowly. Then you have the meter. In the meter, you have different exercises, right? like this one where you need to circle, uh, where you need to rewrite the sentences like this one, uh, and where you need to another audio, right? So you listen to the audio and you do the exercises. Um, here you have another reading, right? You take the time to read this one. I love these readings because you have different vocabulary and also things related to that. With the issues you're having with the platform, for example, With the issues with the videos or with some exercises, uh, let me know so I can um, help you with that, right? Um, unfortunately, I have to work in another place, right? That's why sometimes I don't answer really quick. You know what I mean? So, uh, but because to, to Avia, we have the time to work on this one, okay? Um, I'm still working on, on some things. So so you can let me know. No, no, no crean que no es porque no lo vi, right? O porque no le quiero contestar. Just, I, todavía tengo tiempo para contestarle during the week. So you can do the exercise, okay? So um, <laughs> that's why, Aleli, I couldn't answer that thing. I, I, I did it. I did it. But... I am finished the platform. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very good. That's very good. So again... People, uh, recommendations, uh, do the exercise in the platform. Uh, if you have any question, the way somebody did it in, in the in the chat on, on, on WhatsApp, I love it, right? Usted pregunta ahí, and everybody, um, you help each other, which is amazing, right? Uh, a veces, like, I don't have the time to answer, but one of your classmates maybe 
he or she did it already, so she can help you with that. You know what I mean? Claro, no le envíe todas las respuestas. Just send the first one, right? And then we can check together, you know? <laughs> yes. Um, questions before we leave? No? Okay, tomorrow, Germany plays tomorrow, right? I think, um, have a nice... Croatia okay. too. I see you tomorrow. Yeah. Take care. Good night. Good night. I see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye